TV and in today's video we're going to be talking about Oreos. This is like one of my favorite things to eat in the entire world. But before we get started, if you have not seen my previous video, yes, I have a new very creepy backdrop behind me. In September and October, I love to bring the creepiness even more. So this is like the appetizer before Halloween, creepy ghost hands. So if you would like to enter to win, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jesse B channel, turn on your notification bell, then you can do one of two things or both. Head to my Instagram, give it a follow, it's Jesse B, and DM me the ghost emoji and the hand emoji. And if you want an extra chance to win, you can head to my Twitter, it's Jessie B as well, and tweet me the ghost emoji and the hand emoji. If you don't have both of those social medias, that's okay, you could just send to one. But if you want an extra chance for me to see your DM or your tweet, you can do both. So up to you. And I'll be announcing the winner in a few weeks. Also, if you did not see my last video, we have new light up aliens, but this time because Halloween is coming up, they are cats. They're black cats. Literally my favorite thing yet. So it lights up. It has a little cute Jesse B choker. These are limited edition. So if you guys would like one, I've linked it down below. They're like going so quickly. So I'm so sorry if they sell out super fast, but I love it. Also this sparkling bat necklace that I'm wearing is available on the website as well. So everything is going to be linked down below for you. I'm so excited for Halloween. One more thing guys, if you would like to start a Yana group at your school, Yana stands for you are not alone. It is a group that you can have in your school where people can come together and create friendships. You could spread kindness around your school. It's a place where people can go if they're feeling bullied or isolated or just want to meet new people. It's a safe space, a non-judgmental space. So I have a link down below on my website. If you go to it, you can actually download a form that you can take to your school, give it to your teacher, to your principal, to a guidance counselor, and you can make an official Jesse V. Yana group at your school. If it becomes official, I will send you guys a video. I will send you guys a package filled with a bunch of Yana merch and I will stay in contact with you and your school and your group and support you along the way. So if you guys want me to interact with your school and yourself and would like to create an official Yana group, check out the link down below, print out the form and send it to your school. All right guys, on that note, let's talk about Oreos. In the year 1898, several cookie companies came together to form the National Biscuit Company, also also known as Nabisco. In 1902, Nabisco rolled out Barnum's Animal Crackers for the first time, making them famous by selling them in a little box designed like a circus animal cage. And it actually featured a string on the box so the package could be hung on Christmas trees. People loved this idea. And then in 1912, Nabisco had an idea for a new cookie. They wanted it to be two chocolate discs with a cream filling in between. The thing was, this had already been done by a company called Sunshine shine biscuits and they had called the cookie cookie hydrox while nabisco has never named hydrox as its inspiration many people say that it was a complete copy so despite its potentially suspicious origin the oreo made a name for itself and quickly surpassed the popularity of its competitor so it kind of has a rocky history some people think it literally took the idea from this other company and it's kind of become a debate over the years so let's talk about its mysterious name name. Some people wonder where the heck they got the name Oreo from. What does it mean? The thing is, the people at Nabisco aren't quite sure anymore. Some believe that the cookie's name was taken from the French word for gold. Others claim it came from the hill-shaped test version of the cookie that they never took to market because apparently Oreo is the Greek word for mountain. And this next part is a little bit confusing. Some people speculate that the name comes from a combination from taking the R-E from cream and sandwiching it just like the cookie between the two O's in the chocolate, making it Oreo. Does that make sense? Still, others offer the bare explanation that the cookie was named Oreo because it was short, fun, and easy to pronounce. So let's talk about what happened with the Parent Trap movie because they did something in that movie that became a worldwide trend. If you haven't seen the Parent Trap, stop watching this right now. Take a pause, go watch it, and come back. In the 1998 remake of the Parent Trap, Lindsay Lohan's characters Holly Parker and Annie James introduced us to the concept of Oreo cookies and peanut butter. Now, 
Now this blew the minds of 90s kids everywhere, so much so that director Nancy Myers is asked about it all the time. She said that she just made it up for no reason other than it sounded weird and some cute kid would do it. So she just last second made it up for the movie and people everywhere started doing this. It became a common snack to like dip your Oreo into peanut butter. Okay, let's talk about the 3 a.m. Oreo commercial. We're starting to get a little bit creepy. I found this post from a 30 year old man that remembers seeing a really disturbing Oreo commercial as a kid, but anybody that he tells, there's no one that's able to remember it. He feels like it's just him. So he was basically pleading to the internet for someone to find this for him or for someone to tell him that they remember it too. The weird thing was it would always come on the TV at 3 a.m. exactly. He always used to fall asleep in his bedroom with the TV on because he just hated sleeping to the silence. I know a lot of people are like that, but this commercial that would come on at 3 a.m. would jolt him awake. It would show this skeleton head that would suddenly appear on the screen screaming. And as it was screaming, it would slowly lift up its skeleton hand and would stuff an Oreo into its mouth and would start choking on it as it was screaming. Now he said it always felt like the commercial was so long, like it went on for five or 10 minutes. And then the screen would turn black and the words, that's not how you eat an Oreo came up on the screen. Like the commercial didn't even make any sense to him. But he remembers that that screaming skull would really scare him. Like he would dream about it. It would just freak him out so much. Like even the noise of the screaming would jolt him awake. And he said there was just something so sinister about it. Now I don't remember ever seeing this commercial. So comment down below if you do, or was it all just in his head? Then lastly, we have this horrible game that's called Oreo and it's played on the schoolyard and should be banned everywhere. Oreo is a game where you play rock, paper, scissors with somebody and the loser has to ask the ugliest person out at their school. So yeah, when I heard about this, I was absolutely horrified. Like I can't believe this was invented or kids ever played it or are playing it. If you ever see this game being played at your school, please either stop it, tell an adult and please do not participate in it. I read this girl who was a target of this game and her crush fake asked her out. And when she said yes, he ran away laughing, which is horrible and heartbreaking. Now, obviously the Oreo brand has nothing to do with this. The game is just randomly called Oreo. I don't know if there's a reason for it, but yeah, there were so many angry parents online talking about this Oreo game going on at school. So like, stop. Please stop this game. Anyway, sorry to end it off on a horrible note, but I had to bring that up. I mean, stuff like that is just unacceptable, obviously. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. If there's any other creepy facts about Oreos that I missed, definitely comment them down below and comment which candy or snack you want me to do next. And yeah, don't forget to enter to win the backdrop behind me. If you would like the new light up alien cat, I have linked it down below along with this sparkly bat necklace. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.